And now a little bit more activity here as oh. Erickson Eck tangling with Kolasar and Felino and Hag. Remember, Hag's the one who oh. started everything else with the cheap shot on the check from behind on Kaprizov, and Felino does not forget. So these two go at it in the corner. And Felino caught him early in this fight. Hag can throw him pretty good, too. I didn't realize he was this good a fighter, but Marcus Felino's got the rights going. This is a big boy fight here, right here. Big boy fight, and these are the kind of fights yeah. that I believe have a place in the game of hockey. You took a run, our skill guy, you're going to pay the price, and this, by allowing him to police it, puts a stop to it. Absolutely. No question about it. You know, I wasn't sure in, in, in a game that's this meaningful if that was going to take place in the first period because you know, the Wild might find themselves with it having to kill a penalty here right now. I'm not sure exactly how this is going to play out. You see Marcus Foligno heading down the tunnel. Well, it was interesting because <laughs> Haig was barking with Erickson Eck down the wall and Felino was about to climb over the bench and it was like he looked and said, hey, wait, wait, wait a minute. Haig's on my fight card. <laughs> Vegas number 14, Minnesota number 17, both five minutes each fighting. And so watch, well, Felino, this is the tail end of it. Yeah. Felino comes down, I mean, he was about to climb over the bench. Yeah, there was no way Erickson Eck was going to fight Hag. I mean, not with Felino on the ice. You knew that he was going to take care of business there and thought maybe he could have got an instigator there because he dropped his gloves before Hag, but Hag was... A Here's how it starts. Watch Hag as he'll hit Kaprizov from behind. I mentioned this early. I mentioned this early in the game. I noticed through the neutral zone, Nicholas Watt, look at White Cloud, give him a shot. Kaprizov gets up right away, wrestles him right to the ice, and keeps his gloves on. But if he wanted to drop one of his gloves, I mean, he could have put him...